Hi everyone, welcome to today's crafting program. My name is Dabney. I'm the young adult librarian with the Twin Lakes Libraries and I use they them pronouns. So for today's craft, um, it's going to be a pretty short video. This is a take home craft, so that means you can pick up a craft bag at the Mary Vincent Library. You can come to the Hancock branch if you want. Um, you know, we're not doing teen programs right now. We'll resume those um, January 3rd. However, you know, if you have free time during your school break and you want to come do some craft programs or just get into our craft supplies at the library, you're totally welcome to stop by anytime that we're open and make something fun. So you could come make one of these crafts. You could um, make a craft we've done this semester that you might have missed out on, or you can, you know, use our supplies to make something of your own imagination. Um, so what's going to be in the craft bags you can pick up? Um, we've got a couple different things. Um, one is these little um, coloring decorations. Um, so yeah, they've just little little wooden thing to color, some markers. Um, and you know, those only have four colors, but you know, with markers, you can kind of blend the colors together. Um, or if you come by the library, we have lots of Sharpies back here. And then our other craft is um, making some little stockings. So this is your basic stocking that we've got from the Dollar Tree. And there's little shapes that can come out. These are made of felt, by the way. So that's what it looks like with the shapes um, punched out. And then I bought these. These are little kits to decorate the stockings. Um, so each, if you did take get a take-home stocking kit, it'll have one of the little stockings and then it'll have one of these little kits. So you don't get all three things, you just get one. So this one here is one I'm going to do. It's going to be a snow person. This one I'm thinking is a reindeer, gingerbread person. This one has um, a tree, a wreath, and peace and joy. And then this one has um, some snowflakes, some stars, and a little reindeer and a little tree. So, um, you know, these stockings are like pretty small. I didn't really realize that when I bought them. So some of these designs are going to be like taking up the entire stocking. Like this gingerbread person is probably going to be like <laughs> going off the stocking, but you know, whatever. Um, if you wanted to kind of like increase the size of your stocking, you could probably trace around it on some paper and like glue it. So it has a paper background and then put like the shapes on it. But I'm gonna do my snow person. And I was thinking that this that these pieces would have adhesive on them and they don't. So we're gonna need some glue to do this. I'm going to actually try this glue stick because I don't have enough bottles of glue to send one home with everybody in their craft bag, but I do have a lot of glue sticks. And I feel like this should work, so let's turn this down. Okay, so we have the pieces for our snow person here. There are a lot of pieces. You know, they just tear out of here easily. I am wondering what all these little circles are for. There's some snowflakes here. So yeah, if you have a big stocking at home, you know, that'll probably work good if you already have a stocking. 
You can make stockings pretty easily with felt as well. So I might include a piece of felt with these. So if you wanted to kind of DIY your own stocking, you can. These little ones would probably be good to decorate with um, puff paint. Okay, what is here? It's the hat. All right. So we've got all these. No eyes? It's going to be an eyeless snow person. So let's see how this glue stick works. Yeah, these, <laughs> this stocking is probably way too small for the snow person. So let's check it out. All right, we're going to put the main one there. Let's lay these pieces on here and see how they fit. Like that, like that. All right, yeah, this, this could work. I don't know about y'all, when I was little, I always wanted it to snow, and I grew up here in Milledgeville, so I think there was about one winter, maybe the winter of 96 or something like that, where we did get snow, it was a big deal, but now that I'm older, I'm like, nope, I, want, I don't want it, <laughs> I don't want to drive in the snow, I mean, it's fine, like, if you can stay home, and not have to go anywhere. That's good. But otherwise, I just, nope. I don't know how people living up north do it. Okay, let's put the arms on next. Ooh, this is stuck to me. So yeah, if you had have glue at home, that'd probably be less messy than doing it this way, but this is working. Got some glue on the table, so I'm just going to put that on the back of this nose. That, this is cute. This is cute. This is very easy. Some other crafts we did this month. Um, we decorated cookies. We made snow globes. And we did these crafts. Okay. So that's how mine is looking right now. And I'm actually going to try to put this snowflake down here to cover up this hole. So if you had a bigger stocking, you could kind of spread these out. And it wouldn't be all clustered up like it is on here. And let's see, where was the... So that's how they had their stocking looking, like that. Apparently there's some eyes and a mouth. Okay, they're tiny. There's the mouth, I was about to say. And the eyes. One, two. Oh, there's another eye. Oh, these are the, the buttons. Gotta have those. All right, all kinds of sticky over here. So let's wipe this through here with a button, with a button, and then one eye. All right, this, this snow person has lost an eye somewhere. I'm gonna do the mouth. Right here. Nice, nice. The nose is coming off. I don't know where the eye went. Oops. Let me fix that nose. 
Oh, there it is. It's hiding. Okay, I number two. Uh oh. Not enough glue. Perfect. Okay. And then finishing touch. Let's put some of these up here. Just for decoration. Okay. We'll have an extra snowflake. And you know what I might do on the back of here? Stick this back on here. And I'm going to stick these on here too. Because I got this glue peeking through and I don't want it to get any other things sticky. And if you have Sharpies or markers at home, could like write your name on your stocking somewhere, write a message, write your name on the back. But that is it. I think it's cute. Um, I'm kind of rushing to get this done, but you know, you can take your time with crafts and make them as nice as you want. And since this is glue sticks, you know, if you mess up, you can just peel it off, put it somewhere else. Be all good. So yeah, definitely come by, pick up your craft bag, um, and say hi to us. And we will see you in the new year. Bye everyone.